Some of the images in this story may not be suitable for everyone. This is how some Afghan men treat females. Images that purport to show a 14-year-old girl being flogged 39 times. She is alleged to have run away from a forced marriage in a remote village. The other sad part, I have to say, was the reaction of the people, the sensitivity of the people, the lack of sensitivity of the people. The video was given to Samar's Human Rights Commission. She says police promised her they'd prosecute the man. So far, nothing, despite the country's laws that ban not just forced marriages, but matrimony for girls under 16. Many men, she says, including some government officials, just don't get it. They still think that the woman's is the property of the men and they should be treated the way they want. Samar was Afghanistan's first minister for women, but was pushed aside for being too outspoken. Little has changed since then. It's eight years that we have new system in the country and new government in the country. They should have been more proactive on these issues. But the central government has a lot of political issues to deal with, primarily making peace with the Taliban and needs support from the conservative outer provinces. No one has an exact figure for exactly how many girls are forced into marriage. Estimates vary as high as 60% or more. And attitudes here are so ingrained that one government minister was recently reported as saying shelters like this one are an evil. Here, they deal with the fallout of these everyday attitudes about women. Since January alone, we've had um, 115 cases of forced or underage marriages. Sukhani is typical of recent cases. 15 years old now, she was just 13 when a family forced her to marry her 45-year-old cousin. My husband shaved my head, threatened to kill me and drop my body in the well, she says, so I ran away. Sukhani is one of the lucky ones. The shelter is helping her get a divorce. She tells me she doesn't want to marry again, just get the education she never had. But even at this shelter in Kabul, not everyone can be helped. We've been waiting several days to meet with one of the newest arrivals here at the shelter, a 15-year-old girl who's run away from a forced marriage. But within hours of arriving here, several parliamentarians called the shelter, demanding she be returned to her family. At the shelter, they fear if they do that, she'll be killed. A few days later, police came and put her in a juvenile detention facility. Only now have prosecutors authorized her to come back here. But the shelter's problems are only just beginning. Well, the family has said that they're definitely going to take her back. And even if that means that they're going to bring the whole province to Kabul to, to stage a demonstration in front of our doors, they'll do it. Can you afford to do that? No. No, because I think we have about 60 women in, in our shelter right now and 22 children. Uh, so it's not just her safety at risk, but I have all these other people to worry about as well. The shelter is powerless, no one to defend them. In the city, as in the countryside, she says, too many people prepared to sit back and do nothing. And that's all it takes. Nick Robertson, CNN, Kabul, Afghanistan.